with the edition of Dear God, A Path to Universal Meditation, and today is entitled, we're on chapter four, by the way, and today's entitled Song of the Forest, and it states, the Baal Shem Tov, his teachers and his disciples, the hidden saints who revealed a messianic teaching to the world, passed most of their time in the forest. What did they do there? Their main occupation was their search for the creator through meditation, prayer, through endless dialogues with the infinite. A few years later, in the same town of Medjibosh, the young Rabbi Nachman followed in his great-grandfather's footsteps, leaving the settlement for the forest or the river on a small boat. He poured out his pure soul and worked to attain through this the highest degree of saintlessness. He was particularly fond of the fields and the woods and explained the reason for the choice to his disciples. Each tree, each plant down to the humble blades of grass, sing praises to the Creator. When we are among them in this symphony to the divine glory, we find it easier to open our hearts since the plants yearn to join their melody to our prayer. Then the song of the field mingles with our song and rises up in harmony towards He who created all things. This is how devotion can wear on a green garment, saving soul and body from mental and physical pollution. If we can... If we can, we will go out to green places at least from time to time. However, in the meantime, all places are propitious. Let us seclude ourselves where we can. Rabbi Nachman said that we could cry out even in a low voice, and that meditation is possible even in the midst of a crowd. Before a book, walking down the street, in our home in a peaceful corner, or even like King David, who spoke to God from his bed until his bed covers were flooded with tears. It's a beautiful, beautiful teaching, and it certainly goes to show that everything that has a breath, that it prays Hashem, and how wonderful. It's so appropriate in the month of Elul as he is in the field, and perhaps you should think about journeying out and uh, going to meet him out there. Uh, such a gracious, gracious king who has come down uh, and, and is out to greet us. And I pray that he would give everyone the comfort to reach out to him, whether in, you know, screaming from the top of their lungs or in that small whisper, wherever you are, wherever you find yourself. I just pray that you would be able to find a moment to steal away, close your eyes and just think of our beloved and that he would just join you and you would feel his presence just over overwhelm you. So, that's it for today. Uh, I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I pray that we'll all be together again soon. Besrat Hashem.